Hello, Ben Mankiewicz with you. Thanks for watching TCM as we wind down a night of films honoring actresses who've won Academy Awards for Best Supporting Actress. It's all part of 31 Days of Oscar. Up next, Claire Trevor earns the second of her three nominations and her only win, playing the alcoholic mistress of a crime boss in a Warner Brothers classic. From 1948, directed by John Huston, Key Largo. Edward G. Robinson leads a group of gangsters who find themselves riding out a hurricane in a South Florida hotel with civilians, including the film's leading man. That's Humphrey Bogart. He's playing a World War II veteran in town to pay his respects to the family of a war buddy killed in combat. Lauren Bacall is the man's widow. Lionel Barrymore is her father-in-law, the owner of the hotel. Despite the presence of Bogart, Bacall, Barrymore, and Robinson, Claire Trevor was the sole actor to be nominated for an Oscar. Before Key Largo, Trevor had often been typecast as a cynical mall with a heart of gold. Key Largo co-writer Richard Brooks later said that Trevor's character was based on a real-life gun mall, Gay Orlova. She was mobster Lucky Luciano's mistress. Critics noted that the part gave Claire Trevor plenty of opportunity to display the breadth of her talent. She had been a pretty big star. She's billed first in front of John Wayne on the poster for Stagecoach from 1939. Despite her success over better than a decade in Hollywood, Trevor struggled with her most challenging scene in Key Largo, where she sings Moanin' Low, a song that Trevor said was difficult because of the varying octaves. Considering herself, quote, the world's worst singer, she hounded director John Huston to rehearse the song. Houston treated that request with very little urgency until one day when he chose to shoot the scene right away with no rehearsal. Mortified, Trevor felt unprepared and furious, but Houston got his scene. Apparently, that first take was the one he used, and Claire Trevor won the Oscar from Warner Brothers in 1948. Key Largo. For the husband and wife duo of Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall, Key Largo was the couple's fourth and final feature film together. Their first was the 1944 drama To Have and Have Not, which sparked their romantic relationship off screen. For Claire Trevor, Key Largo was the 50th picture of her 15-year career. Trevor later said that although the role was hard work, she had fun working on Key Largo, a sentiment shared by Lauren Bacall, who said the film was one of her happiest movie-making experiences. Trevor found herself enchanted with the film's director, John Huston, and his ability to direct his actors without over-communicating his vision and therefore perhaps stifling an actor's ideas and sense of space. Similarly, Huston developed a professional admiration for Trevor and her ability to quickly grasp the heart of a scene. The two had previously worked together on The Amazing Dr. Clearhouse in 1938, which Huston co-wrote, also starred Bogart and Edward G. Robinson. Coming up, Gail Sondergaard wins the Best Supporting Actress Oscar for her villainous part in the 1936 adventure alongside Frederick March. Anthony Adverse is next on Turner Classic Movies. Next on TCM, Anthony Adverse, then The Merry Widow, and later, Inside Daisy Clover. TCM puts the pedals to the metal tonight.